Good morning everyone. In today's video I will be making a dynamo curve table part 3 and in it I will continue after we stopped by having the table fully modeled inside dynamo and I will uh, try my best to send that dynamo uh, geometry into a parametric rivet uh, element and specifically into the rivet family and I will be here responding for Mr. Uh, Hassan one of my dearest subscribers was asking if I can continue in a third part to make the rivet family and then give it some material for the table and then load it into a project. So here we go. Before you start, make sure that the file you are actually opening is a rivet metric furniture family. It is not a project environment as the script and the process of conversion that I have uh, here will not work properly make sure also you press on new and to activate the units and make sure that the length is not millimeters but rather you have to select metric or meters and metric now uh, switch back to dynamo run the script and uh, you will be you know when you run that you will be having the full table with all the geometry the two rings the two uh, cylinders that we made and all the curved side uh, fully created here as a, a dynamo uh, geometry but if you have a look at rivet and in this view specifically I think I'm having a shaded uh, constant uh, color here and you can see that ghosting image it's not a full uh, rivet geometry just an image here like a like a sample of what you should get but there is no real images is actually being generated here and, and inside rivet so what we have to do is to export uh whatever you want to call it bake or uh, send the geometry from dynamo to rivet environment and in order to do so there is a significant uh long list of tools you can have i personally prefer in this specific uh context is to uh, use the uh, form by geometry tool or node. So I'm just going to write here in the in the library search. I'm going to write form dot by geometry, and this one is <clears throat> sorry. This one is a custom node by uh, Spring. So we go ahead to the packages and search for it and install it. it's one of the best uh, packages available there and in it you just you can you know just uh, give the geometry to the input of it and choose whether you want it to be a uh, void or not the default condition is a false so what you can actually send is a complete solid uh, here you either uh, pick to put you know this node or the custom node here and uh, you know as a parallel to each one of those outputs so this guy specifically create you know the array which is all the side images if you're just connected like that and then run the geometry again or run the script again the geometry will be generated here in dynamo and a copy of it will be sent to rivet as you can see a rivet family in here it might take a couple of seconds it depend on how fast your machine is and as you go as you should see here now you can see like a whitish geometry or a copy of it and if you select you're gonna see it's uh, you know like a, a, a sweep element and you can see you can even change or amend the geometry it's now a rivet element and the copy of the ghosting is created in the same place uh, don't worry for the orange ghosting thing if you turn off the dynamo it will disappear immediately leaving you with the rivet geometry that's what we look for now you simply hit control on your keyboard with the mouse and uh, drag a copy of this one for all the nodes you have and you know just connect them as such uh, this is uh, the best way to control uh, each geometry uh, each type or each part of the geometry you create the two cylinders and the two uh, uh, two cylinders and two rings 
and it gives you more, uh, you know, uh, ability to detect if there's a problem happening in one of them, rather than combining them all in one list and then feed that to the geometry. It's a, it's both methods. I'll I'll do both methods in the front of you here, and you can go ahead and you know uh, pick whatever you want. So now you can see that uh, you know the geometry is fully translated from uh, Dynamo to Revit and this is again as I said that's just uh, you know put a one copy of uh, the form by geometry in front of each one of those outputs you can might this might be a little bit slower as you have to put a copy in front of each one of them and the more nodes you add the slower the script will go uh, you can have another way which is just create only one let's do the other thing and you can add a list here I'll just uh, delete this one okay uh, you can add a list and I think you need a couple of inputs four or five this is the other method it might have its own downsides but i'll just try them both this is uh, it should be faster because it has less nodes and also it has its downsides as it, it can create a sub list which is trust me not everyone like to deal with and i think in this case will not make any big issue it won't need any further uh, steps to be fixed but let me double check that as you can see here it works uh, perfectly and as I said the only one annoying thing is you know that there is a sub list in here not everyone uh, prefer to work with them as might they create it might actually need some extra steps sometimes in this case it won't be a big problem for you anyway go ahead and save and now we don't need dynamo anymore so I'm gonna close that and as long as I close the script probably I close dynamo itself you see that uh, there is no orange ghosting anymore so just go ahead and select the top part of the or top surface of the table and you go to the material here don't click the you know the add parameter but rather go to the available library and just uh, add glass you click outside and you can apply the glass material to the top part of the table i'm gonna go and select uh, the rest hit control and select the all other elements and in here I'm gonna just pick and um, add a parameter here and I can name it as uh, whatever name you want I'll keep it as a type uh, parameter and this will be grouping it with uh, material and finishes and just go ahead and uh, type parameter here is better so uh, whatever instance and whatever copy you create from this table it will have the same uh, identical material anyway except whatever the okays need to be you know finishing this job and uh, now we need to save so i'm going to go ahead and save as the family that i have going to the desktop i think i have uh, dynamo table third part so so that's my family now you need to create a project environment Just start a new one I'll choose a metric one so English not English Imperial and go for default metric again before you send it would be really a great idea before you load the project uh, to go to un and make the units the same go back to the that's the rivet project environment so go back to the family load it let's just hit this one load
and place it by you know a single click as you can see you might need to hit escape a couple of times go to the 3d and here we go that's our table it's a good idea to select it and then you can arc rotate around it just hit some uh, lights and shade and shadow the thing that i don't like is the top surface is for some reason not visible anyway before i fix this uh you go here to edit and you see there's a material here created and loaded by default uh, in this in this uh, family so uh, i'm wondering uh, why or what's happened to the top of the glass it should look like it's not been loaded or something wrong in here so let's double check that the glass existed so maybe the, the type of the shading oh yeah let's go to shaded yeah my bad sorry so you can see now the glass and the material the parametric material that you just created is all loaded uh, there for you in uh, in the family itself so that's about it guys and uh, now we have the family uh, already uh, created as an external or a separated Revit family and it's already installed inside uh, Revit project environment and now you can go ahead and copy that and add uh, you know whatever the required copies of it in the project anyway and I wish that you find that useful guys thank you very much for watching me and have a good day bye bye Thank <music> you.